Welcome back, I'm Kevin Locken with Mitchell Cusco and today we're gonna to show you guys how to change a commercial door cylinder. This is something that's quick and easy. Uh, sometimes it gets hard when you're messing with the pins or the leafs inside of it because you don't have the right or correct depth, but we'll show you guys and we'll walk you through the five or six steps that it takes. Uh, it's pretty quick and easy uh, just to take the cylinder in and out and we'll go ahead and walk you guys through that. In this instance, all of our doors in our office are keyed alike with the exception of the door behind me. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and finally go out changing that cylinder uh, to the correct key. This is what we're using today. We've got our different leaves on the left, and that's to set the different depth for different door handles. Um, we have got our cylinder, we've got our keys that are they're keyed correctly for the cylinder that we've bought, and we've got the push pin so that we could pull the lever off the door. Our first step in replacing a door cylinder is taking the keys, putting them in the slot, and turning it 45 degrees clockwise. Next, we're going to take our pin, push it in this little hole here, and that should release the latch. Once we pull that off, we're gonna take the key, turn it back to 90 degrees, and pull it all the way out. And now we don't need the pin anymore either. You'll see that this little uh, flat piece on here is the depth that this certain door has. Um, it'll come with three or four different variants so you can find out which door is which and then you'll go ahead and match the door that you go ahead and change your cylinder on. I'm gonna put this one away. Next we're gonna take our new cylinder, drop it back in this slot here. We're gonna take our new key, put it in there and then just like the first step, we're gonna turn it 45 degrees, push it on there. And then turn it back to 90, pull out our key, make sure that our door latch works. And that's how you change a commercial lock cylinder. Uh, as you guys can see, it's five or six quick and easy steps. Uh, the only thing that takes a little bit of Timing is just turning that key at about 45 degrees. Um, so you might have to just kind of turn it, you know, just work your way along with it. Uh, but other than that, don't forget to like and subscribe. We appreciate it. Um, we're pretty active in the comments. So if you guys have any questions or comments along with that, uh, don't forget to uh, hit us below and we'd be more than happy to answer anything for you guys. Take care. Thanks.